<laughs> How you doing? Anthony Ferraro here at Crate Sci-Fi. Today we're going to talk about kit bashing again. Now I've done quite a few videos on this channel about kit bashing um, with Dollar Store Practical 70 style where we actually filmed a physical uh, spaceship. Now one thing that I've done that I really enjoy is um, doing it in 3D, right? Um, and I talk a lot about on this channel about uh, DIY sci-fi and some of the barriers are special effects. Now here I'm going to share with you a, a solution to that that's pretty reasonable. Now um, you, you have to get some software to do this but you know I've I've given you first the, the five dollar option right? <laughs> so I'm okay with sharing this now at this point because um, if you want to go a little deeper down the rabbit hole, you want to have a more professional result, uh, this is a, a way to go. Um, but you still have the other option, you know, if, if you're working with like zero dollars, right? So um, kit bashing 3D. The first thing that's the barrier to this is working in 3D is very overwhelming, right? Um, if you have uh, basic uh, editing um, abilities, you're in Premiere, you've probably messed around in After Effects a little bit. <coughs> so you'll need a, a basic After Effects um, knowledge, right? Very basic. But the reason that I'm very comfortable sharing this with you is that um, the, the software that we use is from Video Copilot, right? So Video Copilot, it's not sponsoring this, um, but I'm okay because it's a really good company. Uh, Andrew Kramer, the guy who runs this, has um, really amazing tutorials that go in depth and they're some of the best tutorials I've ever come across. So when I share this with you, I'm not going to go in depth about um, the moment to moment. I'm just going to show you an overview and, um, you know, with this guy's setup, um, you're, you're in good hands, right? So I'm not just throwing you off the deep end. So Video Copilot has a plugin called Element 3D, right? So if you were just doing this the traditional way, you'd, you'd go into Blender or Cinema 4D and work with 3D models and have to integrate them in their foot. And that's, that's a very serious process, right? That's... Um, you know, you have to pay somebody to do that, or if you're gonna have to spend probably almost a year of your time learning this. But if you have basic After Effects knowledge, or you can read a recipe, you can follow a tutorial, Element 3D is a great solution, right? So what Element 3D is, is it's a very basic program that once you're in After Effects, it'll take a 3D model and you can move it around, right? And um, the kit bashing comes in where in, in the interface, you could take multiple models and objects and, and bash them together and make something unique uh, inexpensively. And I'll, and I'll go into more detail about that in a moment. So Element 3D, um, let's see, right now it's $200, right? But it's $200 well spent. I mean, to pay somebody to do this would be thousands of dollars, and then you'll be able to do this all your projects moving forward. And, you know, it's... If, if you're making a, a picture and, and what you need something like this, I mean, your budget should at least be a few thousand dollars, and this is a very smart, um, valuable investment that just will keep paying back over time, right? And then, like I said, he has all the tutorials that'll, that'll show you in depth um, how to use it, right? So, that's the software that we need. So we're going to use Video Copilot um, Element 3D, and we'll be using that in After Effects, right? But we'll get back to that. So we need the models, right? So you can find models inexpensively and free online, right? So. Um, some free ones that I've I've used before are are uh, Turbo Squid has very uh, inexpensive models, right? And I'll put links to these sites in the description. So you go to Turbo Squid spaceships, and all these come up, right? And they can go up to four hundred dollars. But then you can set your price. 
you know, maximum $5. And you know, some free things come up. And you know, this is great source material. Now the thing is with a free model, right? It's a free model, right? So it could show up. That's why I like to bash them together uh, to get something interesting. Like this one right here. I've used this and I'll show you in an example later on where I've actually used this model. So then another one is um, um, CG Trader, right? And this one I really like. So you type in spaceships again and all these come up. But also if you go um, for free, some really cool models come up, right? So this one I found, this one is really cool. So I'm gonna download this one. And then I also found this, which I'm gonna download this one as well. I like that because it's flat, so it's a good base, right? Free download. And um, these I'm gonna to use to, to demo kit bashing, right? So let's take a look at these, right? So there's that one. Pretty cool. You could probably just use it like that. That's up to you. I like to bash them together just so that it's something unique to my project. And here's the other one. They're just, <laughs> I don't know, I just get really excited about these. And you wanna make sure that they're um, OBJ files, object files. There's lots of different kinds, you know, FBX, Max, um, you know, for Blender or Cinema 4D. You want the, the, the basic one is the OBJ. Think of that like the JPEG of, of, um, of 3D models, right? I mean, technically that's probably not correct, but I'm just talking practically like that's like a standard, simple, pretty basic thing, right? So you download those models. So then you go into After Effects and you just create a layer, new solid, and then the way that they've integrated Element into After Effects, so it's very simple, is it's it shows up as an effect. So you click element and now it's an effect on your layer and now you're in there, right? So it'll make more sense once you're in there, but um, the basic overview of that is it's already in After Effects and you're, you're, so you're not going to um, Cinema 4D and integrating with this and stuff that I don't even understand, um, but this is really, really doable. And I'm sorry I keep over <laughs> stating that, but I just want to, I want you to try it, you know? So you have that in there and you go to your scene setup. And then this is your interface where you're gonna build your models, right? Now for Galactic Galaxy, I made all my spaceships in here. And let's just take a look at some, um, some spaceships, right? All right, so what that is, is it's those skulls, and then I have a saucer, and then, you know, a shape underneath that, right? And so that, like the core of it, is fun because it's just like a flying saucer, right? So let's take a look at that. Right, the core of it is just like a, a basic, um, like flying saucer. So it gives you that cue of a spaceship, and then um, we have fun with it and we put our, our skull on there, right? So let's look at um, my spaceship, uh, the Granny, right? So the Granny is the one that I built for uh, Galactic Galaxy that was sort of the star, the hero's spaceship. So let's take a look at that. So this is combined, the core of it is um, just a ship that I found online for free. I added the cargo, and with this one, I added some objects to it, right? So this is the main ship. Then I had that skull that I showed you. And then earlier, when we were looking at um, CG Tra or Turbo Squid, I forget which one, and I showed you that sort of s satellite station. So let me just show you to, to further sell you on this. So here's a scene I made with those elements.
pretty neat, right? And then I'm on that satellite at the bottom. I just added that skull to tie it into the theme for the rest of the stuff. So that was like customizing it pretty simply, right? And, you know, I also use this on sets. Um, an Erringer, we don't see the spaceship, but we see the crash, right? There's a, there's a aftermath, there's a crash. And um, actually, uh, those little bits of spaceship, I did this same way, I kit bashed, right? So there's that. And then I just use this multiple times, like this is in the foreground, in the background, maybe I show that part of it. And all this is, this um, Element 3D comes with um, pieces, like it gives you some organic stuff, some more mechanical stuff. For example, this, and I just imagine that as like a melted down um, hull of a ship. And then I just started adding elements, and then that gives us our crash spaceship. And then here, let's take a look at it in the film. Okay, so uh, this has been a very <laughs> broad overview, but it's just, it's exciting to me and I wanna just show you that it's accessible, that it's doable, right? So let's, let's just actually do one from those two free models that we downloaded, right? So, um, create a new layer. Okay, effect. So now we're just gonna import those models, right? So we have, this sort of uh, fighter plane. Now, and this is just one piece. In other models, sometimes the windshield is separate or the wings or the engine, right? So we have that, and then we're gonna import our other model so we can bash them together. So I think we're going for like a, like a battleship, right? So this is the bigger ship, clearly. This is pretty cool as is, right? But we want to make it unique, right? And these are both models that we got for free. So that's, I think, pretty utilitarian, pretty standard. So I think if we add the element of our fighter ship, this is going to make it a little more, um, a little more evil, right? A little more scary. So first thing I'm going to do is just start to, to mash it up, to bash it up. And what's fun about this is I'm just, you know, you got these arrows, rotation tools. I'm just moving things around, right? And so now already this gives it like a different profile, right? And you'll get better at centering things. But for our purposes, we're starting to have a different ship. And, you know, these things will, will start to let you know what they want to do, right? So we need to cover that. Right, so that already has a different profile. And then maybe we duplicate that and we move it forward. And maybe now, instead of just the cockpit for the one um, pilot, maybe now this is more like the bridge, right? And so we'll scale that down, drop that in there. And it just gives it a different look. Yeah, that looks good there. Maybe take it out to there. Great. And then now, um, like I said, with Element 3D, it has uh, these packs that it comes with. So I, I always like to add some of these, like, um, let's see, we got these capsules. These are pretty cool. So this maybe, maybe now this is more of like a bridge, right? Or like a, all of a sudden we have a lot more people in this ship. Maybe that goes there, starts to, and you'll see like we'll blend these together. And then if you unlock it, you can start to, to skew things, right? So there's that, and then maybe we'll add, let's see, a beam, maybe across the top there, let's rotate it. And then, you know, we're just taking this stock model and we're turning it into our own, right? So now it just has a slightly different profile. That's pretty neat. And then maybe we'll just put one more component maybe on the bottom. And you know, we're just taking these arrows, just pulling things and yeah, that's pretty neat. So now we get into the textures. We can make everything different shades or textures. For this, we're not gonna go too deep into that. I just wanna give you the overview of the bash, of the mash, right? So we bash those up, we mashed them up. So now, similar to when I do props, 
and you add all the greeblies and everything, and then you put the coat of primer over it, starts to give you a better idea, right? So here's this mashed up thing. But once we make the whole thing white, then we start to get a better idea, right? So there's our ship, pretty cool. So um, like the kit bashing, you know, this will come with some textures, but you know, you'll start to collect things, right? So you could just do something basic where you just do the whole thing. Now that whole thing is chrome, right? I, I like to go a little more, you know, like dirty metal. Now I've collected some textures because I've been doing this for a while, but you know, when you're first starting out, you, you can just do basic things. You can just do the whole thing, one texture, or you know, once you start um, learning more about it, you'll do the windshields may be different you'll do the engine right i always like like maybe like a like a dirty metal and then we can start to maybe add some lights maybe so for example we have let's see this component we're just going to add a little light in there make that pop you know you could add other lights maybe this one underneath here right now with this model like i said because it doesn't have separate things we can maybe help it out a little by adding a shape and then when we unlock this right and that gives it a little something that flies by and then for these engines we can create a little spears Boop. that duplicate it again so I can keep going and going and going and going now for this um, main body now like I said with with this one there is a separate so these guns you know maybe we'll make these guns chrome right and again like I could keep going but you know there we have a basic ship pretty neat so then we hit okay and so now it's in After Effects. We have this 3D um, ship in After Effects, right? So all we need to do is add a camera. So then once we have the camera, right, then we can move this around, right? We'll just add a, a star field. <laughs> right? All right, so this is not a tutorial on how to comp. Um, but, you know, just a couple keyframes here to give you an idea, right? Or maybe you could do one of these. Right, so we would add, you know, better textures, lighting, make it look more photo real. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's fun. It's practical and, and you get better at it and it's very doable. I think it's really gonna add value to your um, sci-fi film or series, whatever you're working on. So let's check it out again. So here's, here's the one I made for Galactic Galaxy. I just love to make this stuff, right? And again, Video Copilot, they give out um, a lot of free tutorials. They have some cool plugins that are free for like lightsabers. So again, I'm not associated with them, but I have no problem promoting them because it's, it's a really good product and those Andrew Kramer tutorials are really great, right? So I feel like I'm not leaving you hanging here. You'll be able to, to learn how to do this, right? So as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Love to read the comments. Uh, check out our merch shop. We got the hats now. Uh, we got t-shirts. Buy one of those. It really helps the channel. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs>